Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play. What is this? Are we getting empires? But they have cult chronicles. In the last episode, we destroyed the free mutants. They were rather weak, to be honest. Looks like they weren't able to assemble. Well, that's not necessarily true. We s suckered is the wrong word. The free mutants misplayed their attempt to destroy my HQ. They were a little too eager and moved Sergeant Slade and a okay army down towards it. We were able to take the hidden gourd from them since we discovered it, which left him out of supply and we mopped up that army. We then chased that Sergeant Slade all the way up to the kin home where we assaulted it and we were victorious, gaining all these supplies and limiting the free mutants from the game. Next, Opponent, obviously, Machine Empire. They are quite some distance away, though, and will take some effort to attempt to reach them. In the meantime, we can continue to strengthen our armies before we move out in that direction. So, let's get started. First thing I want to do is destroy these spider bots. They are not in supply. At the oh, that, that spider, that's interesting. I can just hover over it, and it tells me no supply. I'll have to remember that for the future. I think we'll destroy them by using a Nightwing to do so. Now, the Machine Empire has tactic cards, so I'm expecting them to use them here. Oh, and they will not. We just destroy the spider bots. That's wonderful. Next, let's deploy Albert Feynman to the Kin Home. He will be able to take advantage of the fact there is a research facility here. And we probably should look to strengthen... Well, hold on. Okay, so there's a few things I want to do. Number one, I don't want this kin home to be taken by the Machine Empire. So I'm going to want something sitting in it to defend it. At that same note, I want another army closer to the Machine Empire ready to assault them. Okay, so let's deploy the Vindicator into the Kin Home. And it will probably just sit here with Albert Feynman and guard it. In the meantime, our Rangers can be moved about. And Adam Wraith. We'll move toward the other facility that the Free Mutants used to possess. This one. And we'll take a look at it. For our hand, what do I want to do? I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Let's move... Where are you, by the way? You're a leopard. Let's move our leopard here. And keep him there at the moment. And we'll be looking for any Machine Empire army that might decide to move down here. We might move it into... Well, no, we'll probably leave it here. My thing is... Whoa! Hold on, Tim. <laughs> so, normally I like using a recon unit. Keeping it in a movement 2 or 3 hex. Because that generally will prevent the AI from marching right into it by accident. And it gives me a way to react to the enemy movement as they stop to enter that hex. Or I might see them walk around the hex because of the unimpeded movement from that army by doing so. But I do have my satellite uplink, which will show me, probably, any large armies that the Machine Empire might be moving around. Oh, we'll leave it there at the moment. I moved it anyway. Next. Nothing of the Machine Empires is within range. Not quite yet. So there's nothing else for me to attack with my air power. I guess we'll just draw a card. An Imperial Keep. Useful to get one. This will let us exchange our, suppl our supply range. Okay, let's... Let's hold on to those three action points. Actually, we went second, didn't we? I don't remember. 
Actually, I think we went first. Let's hold on to those action points to play tactic cards if we need to. I will probably hold on to at least three action points each and every turn. This way I can actually react to what the Machine Empire does if they manage to surprise me with something. Okay, let's first move our Ash Recon team. I want to see what they had in here. A Basher and some Legionites with a Longbow. Not the strongest army in the world. I think we could probably can take them out. We gain access to the research. We gain access to another research lab. We'd also gain access to the ICBM silo complex, which would give us one more tech. So I am interested in taking that from them. But we'll do it next turn. We'll move here first. And build another energy team. And I think that's all we're going to do, everyone. I don't think I can really do anything else. Oh, Mr. Pendergast, we should move you. Let's de-stealth you and have you build a scrap team. Re-stealth you again. There's no reason why we can't grab all the supplies that are still lying around as well. We can have Mr. Pendergast do that for us. And there's nothing else I think I need to do, everyone. I guess we should... I think we should keep using our leopard and check out all these other hexes. You know what? No. Let's not do that. Casca can do that. And we probably don't need this research lab any longer, everyone. I... Yeah, we don't... We won't need this. Having... To my knowledge, having extra research labs out in the game, unlike the war colleges, does not benefit you in any way. So I'd rather have the free slot open. We already have a Tier 3 research facility here, and we have Mr. Albert Feynman in it. We do, however... Pick, we did pick up another war college that gives us another maximum tactic card we can create. So Eric Mai will go ahead and do that. I have a reroll of the opponent's die pool. Let's grab a plus two success dice. And we do have... Did I make some advanced training? I did not. Let's make some advanced training cards for that Imperial Infantry. And we'll try something... Let's think here. What do I want to try? I mean, some of these are impossible. We only have six dice. Well, not impossible, but rather tricky. If I wanted to, for example, make the Commando School, I would need to beat a seven-die challenge. I think we actually could do it. We could do this. Because I could re-roll those dice with my free Terra, and I doubt all seven would be successes. No, I'd rather have something a little different. Let's grab Assault Training. Oh, let's, let's grab Assault Training. And we can use the plus two success dice to succeed at that challenge. We won't play it, and we'll hold on to some action points at the end of the turn. It's not likely that the Machine Empire will be able to surprise me. Our satellite uplink should show us anything nasty that is walking towards us. But just in case. Okay, next. Let's play Assault 5 to our infantry. Next. Let's remake those tactic cards. Or that one tactic card. Th 
then let's move our recon team out. And we'll move the Imperial Scouts in. We'll attack right now, and we'll lay siege. They will come out to fight us. Which is what we want. We have tactic cards in our hand. We should not lose this battle, but we may take some damage. But I'm expecting that. Yeah, we can't shock the Basher. We can't shock the Basher. So, before I was mentioning about how powerful the Battle Ogre is... And it is a very powerful neutral unit. But our vengeance is actually probably stronger when it comes to the threat department. The Battle Ogre itself is resilient, difficult to destroy, with 16 hit points and reflect reactive armor too. Its anti-air 6 is also very useful. The vengeance though with that critical damage times 2, that is amazing. And that will let it shred enemy cards, assuming it can roll decently well. Let's go ahead and give that a try. It's likely to destroy something when we attack with it. And I think we'll have it go after the Basher. Now, I'm imagining probably three success dice. More than... Oh, wow, nice! Five more! That will almost destroy the Basher. Oh, going after our Battle Ogre. That's interesting. I'm okay with this. Our reactive armor... Oh, will reduce the damage, but the combined arms still let them damage it. That means it is committed. Our rangers can take on the legionites. Wow, good for the legionites. They are really strong. Okay, let's try destroying the Basher. We'll turn two of their success dice into failures. And destroy it. Multi-targeting allows us to attack another target now. Almost destroyed the Legionites as well. Good job, Adam Wraith. And why not? Race Rangers will have you try to get the kill. And you do so. Well done. You guys have been pulling a lot of... Putting in a lot of work. We will now repair that tiny bit of damage our Battle Ogre took. Make another tactic card to make up for the one we used. I should have used Fate to attack the cards. And we're done. We'll hold on to the rest of our points. Actually, let's move Casca, but then we'll hold on to the rest. Your army discovered fuel storage tanks. You may choose to claim it or ignore. We will claim it. Right, and don't forget, Casca is not stealth. She does not have stealth. She does not have stealth. Don't forget that. Oh, we went second that time. Okay, we're now pulling in three tech each turn, so we no longer, well, we still have a little bit of a tech shortage, but we're not desperate for tech as we had been. Let's, let's begin working on another army down here. Okay, two tech left over is not enough to really play any cards from my hands. Let's move our recon team around. Looking for more supplies. Casca can move herself around. And I guess we'll move the... The, uh, whatchamacallit, our armor unit around. We don't see anything. Still have all this terrain to explore. 
Oh, there's a few hexes we haven't explored right near us, too. We should... Oh, we should check those. Mr. Pendergast. There's no reason why we can't keep having you produce more resource collectors. That was dumb. I went second. I should have spent all my action points. Oof. Not going first. One, two, three. Well, this is within range of our Nightwing. Let's let the Machine Empire know we're here. Mr. Pendergast can be stealth. He'll make us a recruiting center. Our Imperial Rangers can move around. Tech! More tech! That's very handy. We want that. Casca can come up there and take it. But she can do that next turn. Yeah, the Machine Empire is still confined back here. Poor Machine Empire. Let's work on some technology now. We'll work on some Aegis cladding. And we'll get that down in Ulysses Stark's army, who I plan to use against the Machine Empire. We went second, so we can still spend more action points if I have any more to spend. But I think I've moved all the troops I intend on moving. Oh, we have a leopard here, do we? There's no reason for him to stay back here any longer. Oops. Do another leopard. Okay, end our turn. We'll get that leopard deployed into Ulysses Stark's army. It'll change it to a respectable 5-4 unit. Casca can move up here. And we'll have her build a tech team. Our rangers will then move. Oh, whoa, come on, game, you can do it. We'll use a night wing again and continue to hit random facilities here. Destroying another one, and that frees up that hex. Hmm. Adam, I don't really. I don't want to just move you out until I have something I can put in that location. A Minotaur. I do intend for this is Stark to be the one leading the charge, so we'll add the Minotaur down here. Another Vengeance. We'll get that added to this is Stark's force as well. I mean, we could add it to Adam Wraith and just have a super powerful fast army. I guess maybe we should do that as well. And I do see the marines, but I think we'll add these to this is Stark's force. Uh, do we have we moved everyone I wanted to move? Well, we will keep you there. Uh, we'll look for more supplies or secrets. You don't see anything. I think the everyone obviously well, I mean not obviously, I think this game is over. I don't think the AI is gonna stand a chance against us. We have probably larger armies, we have much more supplies coming in than they do. Alright, we see a behemoth walking around. But if it's just a behemoth, it won't be too much trouble. Oh, we lost track of it, though. Yes. 
There it is again. One, two, three, four. Yep, that would be about the limit of its supply. Let's deploy the Vengeance down here for Ulysses Stark after all. In the meantime, Mr. Pendergast. Move here, we'll de stealth him. He'll make another scrap team, and then we'll re stealth him again. We'll take a peek using our recon at what might be in this location. Nothing too strong at all so far from what I can see, but they are out of supply. We do have that Imperial Keep. I'm tempted to deploy it here. We could leap in there with our jump troop, actually. Maybe, I think what we'll do, everyone, is we'll deploy some more Imperial Marines to our jump troop over here. Yeah, I think we'll get a third. So instead of putting it this with Ulysses Stark, we'll add it to this army instead. Over here, I think this has a movement of two. It does. So you're safe at the moment, Rangers. But you know what? We'll move you here anyway. Casca's Rangers. Empiricus has moved into the same spot that Ash Recon is in. We could try to capture it right now, him, that hero, but I don't want him to know my rangers are here. If I want to make the capture attempt, I want to do it when it's my turn, and then move my rangers away before they have a chance to react to it. That was dumb. I didn't spend the one more resource in order to take, take this. Okay, let's let's now try capturing Empiricus. We'll hunt him. Oh, we're gonna go back and forth at this, aren't aren't we? And we kill him. Perfect. We will re stealth Ash Recon and then move it away. Ooh, hello. Sand is something useful. And actually, what we'll do is move him back here. Then, we want to make up for the tactic cards we used. Next, let's deploy those Imperial Marines. We'll get them added to Jump Troop Epsilon. And we can jump Jump Troop Epsilon here. Getting it close, we'll be able to jump into this location. We'll draw some we'll draw a card. A fire base. Very useful. I wanted to see this. If we build that fire base down here, we'd have threat range to this. But when we build the Imperial Keep here, if that's what we decide to do, we will also, I think, gain threat range to this location. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Because our supply range is, I think, six at the moment. Yep. All thanks to Vincent Munge. So, I want this location for the Imperial Keep. We might end up moving down here as well with a fire base, and then we can threaten their HQ with that. Alright, let's end our turn with some leftover action points. Yep, they're looking for it. They're looking for my rangers. My rangers have already fled the scene. They are not there anymore, Machine Empire. We will slowly begin destroying the tech recovery with our rangers. 
unstealthing them, destroying it, restealthing them, and moving them away. For our technology, I would like to give some energy rifles to our to our marines. By the way, are you power armor? You are. Why don't we make some technology? Why don't we make one of those for you as well? Just in case I decide to use you later. Okay. Let's begin moving out Ulysses Stark a bit. And Casca's Rangers will move back. Oh, you know, I should have given one of these guys. One, I should have given this unit to. I should have given the, the wasteland, ra the waste rangers. To a Stark, actually, that'd be a nice unit to have as well for him. But he has reconnaissance already with the leopard, so I guess he'll be all right. We'll draw a card, and then end our turn. begin destroying all of those resource collectors that they have. I do see the new marine we have. What do you guys think? Drop them in the same jump troop? It's very tempting. I wouldn't mind having it in the whatchamacallit, this is Stark's army instead. So here's what I think we'll do. So I think the machine's pretty pretty occupied at the moment with my rangers. And so we're going to jump into this location and defeat those rad zombies. And the only thing in here, unfortunately for us, is just one material. We will deploy the Imperial Keep, though, here. And we will begin moving humans our superior up in this direction. Draw a card. Man, a boy, hello. No, I don't want to get her into play yet. It's too many action points to create an army for her, add her, stealth her, and then move her. That's basically all our action points. So we're not going to do that this turn. Carlos Pendergast, though, should probably begin moving towards us. And we have enough that I think I'll risk moving a leopard around. Empire might not have realized where we ended up with our one unit. And by that I mean I doubt they saw that I took this Imperial I dropped the Imperial Keep here. Where are you, humans are superior? I think we'll move up here and destroy this behemoth with Lisa Stark's force. We 
You want to try to shock it, because I would like to avoid a critical damage se strength 7 attack meant for us. Just one damage, but that's enough to indeed shock it, so it won't get a chance to attack. Our Minotaur will try next to lower its defense by one. Hey, nice, and we succeed. Two damage, defense lowered by one. Our Vengeance will try to destroy it, and we'll go all out. Not quite enough. So this will probably get away. Uh, maybe it won't. Maybe it won't. Just enough damage to destroy it. Next... We will again remake the tactic card we used. Now, they know we're there now, so they're going to be very interested in showing up to stop me. Let's add a fire base here. And add Imperial Marines to that squad. Over here... We'll de-stealth to destroy that. Re-stealth again. And move us right into this petrified forest. I want to see what the enemy has around here. And there's almost nothing defending their HQ. Is this still their HQ? You know what, everyone? Let's let's just end this. We can win right now, this turn, by jumping in. Or we could wait one turn. Let's wait. Uh, we'll wait one turn. We'll wait one turn. So I, I'm going to imagine they're going to go all out to go first because they just have realized that we are about to destroy their base. Okay, well, it's going to end this turn, everyone. I don't see them winning. Ash Recon team, we're going to observe what they have here. That's... that's nothing. They have no real defense there. We should just jump in with our Imperial Marines. They can't... they, they can't win against them. They... Oh, well, hold on a second. So they'll get two extra defense dice. The only thing even remotely dangerous will be the Revenant Platoon at a 6-7 strength. But the rest of them are as good as dead. We could try weakening them first with our Nightwing. Let's try... Let's try that. Oh, right. The Machine Citadel itself could fire at us. But it's not, I say, it's, it's not likely to do any damage. It is a Nightwing, after all. Um. Let's, say, let's get plus three fate points. And we'll almost destroy them at half its strength. We'll go ahead and have Eric Mai remake the plus three fate point card. We will jump in here with Jump Troop Epsilon. Belay that order till the end of the turn. Albert Feynman. We'll make these. Just in case we actually have to use him because this assault squad fails to do what they're supposed to do, we'll get this army a little outfitted a little bit better. And that's good. We hold on to the rest of our action points to play tactic cards in the battle about that we're about to do, and let's do that fight. We will attack them rather than lay siege.
All right, Shade Mobile Artillery. Let's see if you can survive two Strength 9 Shock Attack attacks. Nope. Next army, the Weakened Revenant Platoon. Again, let's see if you can just survive this. Nope. And that's it! That's it! Congratulations! You have crushed your enemies and driven them before you. You are truly the lord of all that you survey. 257 points. Let's take a look at the map. Wow! They had a doomed megalopolis here. Holy crap, I would have dropped that- I would have dropped all sorts of resource collection into that. Oh, I, I think they were trying to do that. Hmm. The Machine Empire had a huge amount of tech all around them. Look at this. So this one, they started with. So they started with their Deadlands and a Debris Field. The rest of this was just out and about them. Man, how about that? Did we miss anything else? I don't think we did. Oh, we did! There was something in these petrified forests we never walked into. wonder what was there. I don't think we can find out, unfortunately. Yeah, we can't we can't see what was actually there. Well, that was that was not so bad. I think the deck is looking pretty good. I am very very impressed with jump troops. Our marines, our jump marines leading our imperial marine squads are proving very very useful. Wow. And the night wings helped out eliminating a few weak enemies that were about out and about on the board too. Yeah, that went, that went really, really well. That went really, really well. Okay, everyone. Well, before we call the session, since this deck is good enough at the 225 point level, let's go ahead and make a 275 and 15 tile point deck and get ready to use that in the next game.